Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Final 4 Kaiser Break and Indonesia. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, so wait, did Serbia kill? Oh, Bulgaria just annexed all of Serbia. Okay. I mean, not really what I was expecting, but you know, you guys, you know, go off. You have this Veno. Are you... I was going to say, like, are you going to do the Yugoslavia tree? My guess is no. Because I don't think the AI... Yeah, you release Serbia. I don't believe the AI can do it. Okay, so you've won your war. Germany's Asia still owns this territory. I'm, I'm upset about it, but, you know, what can we do? But yeah, the only way that you can form Yugoslavia is if you don't accept any German or Austrian volunteers. And as far as I know, the AI will always accept volunteers. I, I there's... I don't know if there really is a situation where they'll say no. Like, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. And you know, the Chinese revolt has succeeded. Devastating blow for colonialism, yada, yada, yada. Japan. I'm okay being your friend. Also, you can tell this is an old focus tree because, like, these are 70-day 70 uh, 70 focuses. I like how you can... You want me to march to Lisbon? Following our successful takeover of the island, the Portuguese have caved and surrendered the colony to us. This is a great victory for Indonesia, as well as for the poor oppressed people of East Timor. Plenty of wars... No, victory is ours. I will secure the victory that we have taken over the Portuguese. The first victory of Indonesia against the West. Because, again, I don't believe we can go pro on top, so we're going to go pro Japan. Again, it would be cool to get you to work, but... Owns Malay. Cult of Malaysia is independent, is not in a faction. Like, how does that happen? Like, I honestly don't know how, um... The one... Okay, Tokyo Conference. Yeah, we'll, we'll go. Again, I want to try to get... Again, if we're not going to get the Kula Sultans, which we need for... This. I mean, I guess we could probably go pro-Germany. No, you can't. Okay, you can only go pro Germany if Germany's at war with Japan. You can only go Entente if this coup has succeeded. You can only join up with the Bahari Commune if Bahari Commune forms their own faction, which I have never seen. And I think the one time we tried playing as Bahari Commune, I could not get the faction actually fire. So, I mean, I really only leave Japan because it's like, yeah, we can make our own faction as Indonesia, but it does literally nothing. Because I literally don't believe this could happen. I, I don't believe you can get the Confederation of Malaya Ar uh, Archipelago. I just don't think it's physically possible. Because I don't see how... Um, I don't see how they can become independent. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, the elections have fired. Who's going to win? The president has decided legislative elections are to go ahead, hoping to secure a large majority for his PNI party. And a mandate from the Indolution people. The other parties, like Tan Malak's party, Murba, or the Naidai to Ulma, or to a lesser degree, the BSI, those suffering from a loss of voters to Murba, are campaigning zealously, arguing that they are the best choice of the bright Indolution future. Did you actually change anything for us? I'm assuming. Yeah, we get new leaders. I mean, there's so many people here, it's gonna be hard to tell who actually comes in. Religious democracy. So you are social conservatives. We don't want the socialists because then we couldn't join up with the Japanese. Authoritarian democracy, social conservative. So there's two social conservative parties. Mohammed Hatta is. You're dead. Mohammed Hatta, who's already in charge right now. You are giving us. 14. 14% is not bad. That's a lot. That's even political power on there. You can, it forces a coalition, okay. Muhammad Hatta wins, and you are Abdul Wahid Asim. Which is you. The oh, oh, you actually make us lose political power. We're gaining two we're gaining two point oh seven. It would be a pretty massive swing, and again, we don't want the workers to win. Abu Malik. I do my league. I don't know. I'm guessing you're in here somewhere. But you know what? Religious democracy sounds fun. Give me that stability. Give me that war support. And we're going to take a bit of a penalty here, but... 
You have no... And whose constitution be put to a vote. Like a power, ideology, drift, defense, stability. I mean, I guess I probably should have checked these. These are probably a little bit more important. Like I said, fish seek. Which is... I mean, what we have right now, I think, is okay. So, uh, declare our victory. It'll just be done tomorrow. There we go. We'll get our contacts in Asia. I believe Japan will probably invite us into their faction automatically. They'll probably... Yeah, because they'll send out the invitation. I just don't know when it'll be. We probably want to invade Germany's Asia whenever the war in Europe breaks out. You'll just be able to press this uh, beautiful little button there. Declare a war on Germany's Asia. Hyderabad joined up with the Japanese. Okay. And now Midland Africa's at war with Portugal. They say, Midland Africa's like, they just lost a war to Indonesia. We can definitely beat the Portuguese. Okay, shout on. Clique is now joined. A lot of people are actually joining with the ZLE clique. They actually got a pretty solid base, actually. Um, maybe the federal government here. A second. So you're actually a war of the Yunnan clique. Oh, so Poland just elected a new king? Really? No, they're a republic. What the hell are you talking about, game? I mean, I know this is a slightly older save file. But, like, also, like, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, I mean, Japan... I remember being able to join up with Japan this early on is a little broken for sure. Actually, you're... Yeah, you're in the... Uh, up there because you're not actually led by Kolchak. Okay. Um, do we... We could get more steel. We'll get that from one of our future allies, Fanny Garment. Thank you. We have no factory, so never mind. <laughs> we don't. Condemn Western imperialism, of course. We can lose political power off of that, but that's okay. And again, I do want to join up with the Japanese. Will this bypass automatically if, um... If we're already in the faction, this will bypass. Okay, and then we can join up with the Japanese alliance. Which, to me, is good. Because we, we kind of need to research these things that we have now way quicker. International contacts. Deeper economic ties. Yeah, we'll take that. Max Volteer, you're kind of actually awful. You're not that great. No, no, you're actually just... I mean, negative 20% is okay. We've aligned ourselves to Japan. Join a Japanese fear. Yeah, we'll, we'll join up with their faction. We'll probably see Siam and Burma do the same thing. And again, in about a year from now, the second Villa Creek will begin. Siam's now joined the war. Burma probably will join a faction. Sometimes Burma, Burma's one of like the uh, the sticklers here. They don't want to. They don't want to join all the time. Also, Philippines are no longer socialist. They are led by August the fourth. August fourth, born August Wilhelm von Hohenzollern. Oh, so the 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 event to get a king of Poland fired for the Philippines. Okay, I mean again. This is an old save. I'm assuming that's what the issue is, because otherwise it makes no goddamn sense. Contacts with Europeans. Yeah, you don't do anything for us anymore. And you will automatically bypass, and then we'll go for the research. Because we kind of, we need it. And, guy, it's not, this folks, she's not been updated in so long. Like, these 70-day focus. I know this one's 56 days. Um, but you are a 70-day... Are you also, are you all 70 days? Yes, you are. Well, you're, you're okay. 70, 42, 44, 42. Like, 70 day focuses are so bad. They're, they're so bad. Like, we're even now, Vanilla is trying to, like, distance themselves from, um, they're trying to distance themselves from the 70 day focuses that were a big part of early Hoi 4. I mean, even that now, they're still actually, like, a pretty big, big part of it. What do we have for... I think we can probably open up trade. Go for free trade. I mean, we're going to run out on a little bit of oil, but I don't believe our... Um... Like, we don't have a navy. Which actually means that you should definitely be making... Um... We not have submarines research. Hey, Japan, would you give me submarine tech? Like, this is anything. Whatever your cheapest submarine is, you will not accept. 
They will not. So they won't accept because I don't. Okay, they will. They'll set the basic point of view. Not necessarily in factories. We need. We need one factory to trade for that, and we literally don't have it. The Ulma Ground Council. With the Nahatu Ulma now in power for a while, they moved to the great uh, political project. The formation of the Ulma Ground Council. By inviting wise senior scholars, we've established this council, which will not only advise the government on religious matters, but also have the authority to loosely enforce Islamic values where necessary. To a certain limit, of course. Because otherwise, we will be unable to get through Parliament. So we're going to be a little bit more popular. at 55% popularity right now. You've already made bypass. We do, we do need the, uh, the research agreement. Like, it's actually kind of important. Luckily, Germany's Asia, with the, um, the fall of Indonesia, or Indochina to the socialist, they'll be easier to kill, because Siam can just invade from the north, will invade from here and, uh, in this area as well. I mean, we see two units. But we can take over this land. We can take over here as well. I'll, I'll let Japan have all the islands, but I kind of want this land here. And we can also invade Australia, because Australia probably had it coming, I would say. I would say they probably have it coming. But aside from that, we can see now Spain is definitely going to win their war here. Is that the Ottoman? No, that's actually just what the ground looks like. You're not at war yet. You're going to be close, but you're not quite there. Federal government will probably fall. Qing are doing very, very well for themselves. They're on the Zili clique. I mean, we'll see if the Fanian government wants to invade. I don't know. Because the Japanese might just get involved. What about the legation cities? Right now, they're pro-American. Thoroughbury has tried to declare their independence for, like, another time. Do they even have an army? They won the five divisions against... Yeah, they're going to lose. And the federal government had actually completely died. Very cool, very cool. American Civil War is still raging on. I don't think this is going to get resolved anytime soon. And it's honestly, if we're going to be joining, I mean, we're already going pro-Japan. But them not resolving this is probably better for us. And what is happening now? We have the People's Republic of Argentina. Not something that I care about. Again, the international, now that we are pro-Japan and no longer... Um, Pro Entente, we don't, I don't think we care at all about them. Oh, but that's not true. We have, we have you. So you might go to war with the International uh, National over Hawaii. We'll have to kind of wait and see. I mean, the, the French might just give Japan Hawaii. I don't believe that's impossible. Okay, Spanish Civil War is over. The Kingdom of Spain has won. Which is, maybe we'll put another front line against the French. We'll kind of see what goes on there. Again, we kind of are still pro international just because they're anti German. Russia now is kind of in like a weirder state, though, right? So we, we own Transmir. I mean, our faction has Transmir, which the Russians do want. So you might end up seeing a war against Russia uh, play out, but it's it's hard to say. I think it's more, much more likely for Russia and the international to go to World War than Russia and Japan. Also, the Chino literally just clearly warned every single person that's on their faction. And you know what, Ching? You should do that. I mean, we want the Ching to weaken themselves. But right now, it seems more like they're actually kind of uniting all of uh, China together, which is not what we want. Now they clear war. No, the Fan Covenant clear war on the Ching. Okay. I mean, if you allowed the Ching to clear war on you first, it would have called in Japan, which probably would have been better for you personally. Not as great for us. I mean, you're pro Japan. Right now, now that we've played as defending government, we kind of know more about these things. We do see that the Japanese are the biggest faction in uh, defending government. I think that's good for us. Beijing has immediately already fallen to defending government. I'm guessing because they're fighting on so many fronts. Did they declare war on the Qing? Or did they declare war on Yunnan? That would be bad, but they are promoting tourism. So, I mean, I guess that's good. I don't, we can't see Chinese... Uh, yeah, we can't see any Chinese factions, unfortunately. It would have been nice if we could get a, a little bit of like a clearer idea about what's actually happening in China. Okay, but we now have Japanese tech. 
You're garbage. You do nothing for us. You will probably be good. You do get the political power as well. But I think it's time we can make our new constitution. And constitutions are fun. Doesn't love a good constitution. Yeah, the Cairo Pact is being formed. Which means, yeah, the war with you is going to be happening very, very soon. But the new constitution. Indonesia has had two constitutions so far. One been uh, by Sukarno. That doesn't meet the basic requirements to safeguard Indonesian democracy. And one we are forced to replace it with earlier by our former Dutch overlords. One that, for that fact alone, no Indonesian would want to stand by. It's time for the newly elected Dewan, under the leadership of Ulma, the large party in it, to write a new constitution that both the average in Indonesian will want to swear by and safeguard our democracy sufficiently. Article 1. Thank you for the political power. Steel, we can't really do anything about. I wonder if, um... I mean, would you cause the coup to fire? Probably not. I, th I think it's too late for the, the coup to fire. That's my professional opinion. I have my opinion based on really nothing at all. It just feels right. Okay, but the Great Revolt is now attacking party commune. Good for us, because again, the Hyper Bad now will have an easier time killing everybody else. And now you've gone... So this, the Communists took over. Now the Syndicalists have taken over from them. Wonder who's going to be next? Because can't Patagonia, like, go, like, liberal? I'm not actually too sure how they do it. The position of the president. Previously, the president had been quite substantial powers. The president is leaving... Uh, leading the PNI and thus isn't too friendly with our democratic rule, and who knows who uh, might come after him. The other coin, however, is that if we limit the position of the president, we risk losing support of the PNI. We might need we might need for a two-star majority needed to in institute the new constitution. So what do we want the president to do? Purely ceremonial, make the president the guiding hand in the formation of the coalition. Or allow the president to write the decrees and veto bills. You know what? We'll, we'll go for that one. It's kind of like the American style. Thank you for the machine tools. We'll follow you up with... We have two mass combats. You're not who I'm looking for. Organization. You know what? Give me the, give me the 10% attack. It's really good. I like it a lot. Yeah, now these attacks are significantly cheaper since we have people who have actually researched them. Apparently... Siam has not researched this technology, but we'll at least go with you. It sucks that we can't get the full 50% discount just because there's not enough people in the Japanese faction. If Burma were to join, we can probably save a little bit there. I mean, if we were in the Entente, it'd be way, way easier for us, of course, because we would just be able to have more, uh, more members of the faction. As well as actually getting the IEDC, which could have given us a little bit of economic support, which would be nice. But again... I guess I screwed up my uh, my button prompts here, but you know, I mean it, it happens. It happens sometimes. You can't blame yourself for everything that kind of goes wrong. At least you shouldn't. It's kind of a, that's an unhealthy way to look at things. The election of the president. Previously, the president was elected by the Duan. This leads to significant complications, however. For instance, the majority is not reached. Counts for this, we can include a new constitution. A party who claimed the largest share of the vote in the election claimed the presidency, which again might upset the PNI. The president is elected by the people. We'll take that one uh, for now. And I, I think it seems decent enough. I'm, I don't know what's going to happen if the constitutional vote fails. Formation of Central La uh, America. I believe yellow is liberal, right? No, li that's the reactionary. We want any of you guys... I mean, oh, we actually have a factory that we can trade with. But mostly using that factory to make a single... I mean, when will we be done? You'll be done at 42. It's probably more important that we import steel. We'll get that from Russia for now. Yes, yeah, so, oh no, we won't be able to build any buildings. Our one building's going to take three and a half years. Probably not really worth it. We, we lost factories just because of freaking Germany's Asia. You do see there, there's actually a pretty substantial German garrison in North Borneo. Not happy about that. I mean, I don't even know how many factories we actually lost. Due to Australia and Germany just taking our stuff. Mandate of the Dead One. The current constitution, like the term of the Dead One, is supposed to be five years. The good one is the four years. 
get the participation base in, in a democracy is common. Other common Indonesian higher and make the election ever more and slightly di more direct. I will keep it at five years. I think that seems okay. And what else do we have to vote on? Because this will be done in 20 more days. We'll probably end this episode once the Constitution either passes or fails. Again, I'm hoping for... I almost clicked you. I almost clicked you. Because I was like, you know what? It would make sense to get the, re the construction speed upgrade. No, it doesn't. You have no civilian factories to build shit with. It's basically garbage for you. Okay, monarchy's been restored to Greece. Uh, you're almost done. Portugal somehow surviving really well against Middle Africa. I don't know how the Middle African AI does so poorly against Portugal. I mean, it's very rare that Portugal ends up winning the war, when, especially when it's led by the AI, but we'll see. The position of religion. The original constitution of the country was secular and not bound to one religion. Fanny and the Ulama do not approve of this and want to establish Islam as Indonesia, or Indonesia's official state religion. So likely put off Merba and the PSI from voting for the new constitution, and neither does the, the idea except the PNI very much. You better be giving away enough of the PNI before, or it'll be highly unlikely for us to garner the votes for the need for the two-thirds majority. Let's remain secular. We'll remain a secular state. For now. You know, maybe, maybe call me back in like 30 years. We'll see if things can change. But for right now, we'll remain a secular nation. Right now, what are we? Are the, we are the conservatives. There's, I like how there's like no liberal parties. It's just either conservatives, authoritarians, the monarchists, and there's a handful of socialists. And the constitution has passed. We've successfully secured the votes required to overwrite the old constitution and our new parliamentary constitution has gone into effect. This is a great day for the Indonesian state, its democracy, and its people. And with our new constitution, I think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Now enjoy, please thumbs down. Watch me subscribe and goodbye.